Hello everyone. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Rainbow SRX. I'm pretty excited about this. Uh, actually, a friend of mine just bought one of these and he was generous enough to bring it over so that we can perform all kinds of tests on it. So uh, I'm going to go through its features and uh, we're going to check out what's different about the uh, new model versus the old model. And then we're going to test out all the various tools and see how it performs. These vacuums are quite an investment. Uh, I won't say what my friend paid for it, but they're very expensive. Not a lot of people have a ton of experience with them. I've wanted to try one for years. I finally get to. So the SRX, I believe, first came out in 2019. And it came with a whole bunch of improvements over the earlier models. There's a few key things. This model is now four speeds instead of two. The new hose system is pretty cool. It magnetically connects and disconnects. It just feeds in and just push it out of the way. And it's very, very easy to connect. I like that a lot. And then the other cool thing is the new bin system. I would argue this is the biggest improvement. Now to access the bin, it's way easier than on the older models. It just lifts up like so. And then the whole bin, water bin just pulls out. It does look like it's a little more shallow than the older one, but hopefully that will make a real difference. And then when you just slide the bin in, push down <laughs> until it locks into place. Now, for instance, on the E2, to uh, remove the bin, you have to unclip two clips on both sides, and then you push down on this, and the whole unit lifts off, the heavy unit. Then you can get to the bin and fill it up as needed. It's not bad, but it's a lot, lot easier on the SRX. So I do welcome all of those quality of life improvements that are on the machine. I actually generally really like the power heads that uh, Rainbows come with, and the SRX is now on its second design. When the machine first launched in 2019, it had a different power nozzle that had a steel brush roll and I believe like a lifetime belt. And I thought it looked great. Uh, unfortunately, feedback from consumers uh, wasn't positive on it, and they ended up changing it. So this is the powerhead from the last generation model with an updated color scheme. This is a lot different than how they were, how the SRX powerhead was when it first launched. It has that narrower, but uh, very aggressive brush roll. I like how stiff the brushes are. And then it has two spinning side brushes. I've never actually used this powerhead before, but the power nozzles on my D4C SE and my E2 were excellent. So I'm, I'm assuming it's still gonna do a great job. My own personal hang up, but my friend says it works great, is the, the side brushes. I'd rather have a full width brush roll. That's just my opinion. Uh, one thing that I really like about Rainbow Vacuums is that they all include excellent sets of attachments. And it looks like this new SRX is no exception. So right on board, you have an upholstery tool, a very good dusting brush, and a crevice tool. And the rack that holds the attachments can either be stored on the vacuum like this, or you can store it on the wand. Along with those attachments, it comes with what looks like an excellent hard floor tool, a wet pickup nozzle, an inflator tool, a tool for cleaning underneath appliances, and then a pet grooming tool. This is the basic kit that you get with the vacuum, and then there's extra options like the Rainbow Mate, the Carpet Shampoo Kit, and other things that you can purchase for an additional charge. So I think this all looks very nice. We'll see how it works. I thought the SRX was more compact than the older models, but I was wrong. It's very similar in size. Getting the Rainbow ready is really easy. You just lift this latch up, whoops, and then pull the bit out. Normally I would fill this up at the sink, but just so I can show this easily on camera, I've got this bowl of water here. I'm getting all over my floor. There's an indicator in the middle of the bin. In fact, maybe that's a little bit too much water. I'm going to dump out just a little bit. There we go. So now I have the water level right at the top of the bubble. And then this just slides back in. Okay. As far as noise levels, on high speed, in either suction-only mode or with the power nozzle running, the SRX is remarkably quiet. Regardless of mode, this model stays under 75 decibels in operation, a huge improvement. The Rainbow features a four-speed brushless motor. I'm just guessing, but the higher two speeds seem to be for cleaning and dusting, while the lower two speeds are for using the Rainbow in the air purifier mode. We tested the suction of both Rainbows with a water lift gauge, and the SRX reads about 55 inches of water lift. Not an amazing result, but adequate. The older E2 Gold reads about 80 inches of water lift, much closer to what you would expect from a modern vacuum. The interesting thing is that although the suction is lower, Rainbow originally claimed that the SRX had 30% more airflow than previous models. Now, let's see how this Rainbow SRX cleans on this red rug. I just put down a bunch of fake pet hair, rice, oats, and parsley. So just a mixture of light to heavy particles and then ground in fake pet hair. We'll see how it cleans. Yeah. 
one pass forward and back, and I thought that did a pretty excellent job. I'm surprised. The brush roll that's in there is really aggressive. Even though it's narrower, it cleaned that narrower area really well. And there also wasn't much left behind from the bottom plate guards as well. I thought that was gonna look uh, a little worse. So, actually a lot better than I was expecting. of the power head uh, very good it rolled super easy it was really nice to glide around it feels premium and well made and I can tell I already like the long hose too because I didn't have to lug the machine around it uh, vacuuming different parts of that uh, let's continue we're trying a few different things but on this red rug uh, just a pretty basic pickup test I thought it did excellent now we're gonna do another carpet cleaning test I would call this an extreme pet hair test on this blue rug I've ground in a bunch of fake pet hair and I've also put down a bunch of oats I like this blue rug because it's a really thick pile and pet hair is very difficult to clean off of it. So this will be a good visual indicator of how this would handle everyday dirt and pet hair in your home. Uh, so again, I'm surprised. That did an excellent job. And I think a big part of it is how aggressive that power head is. Overall, I'm, I'm very impressed. The carpet cleaning performance seems excellent, just like the other ones. After those two large tests, just because of all that fake pet hair I picked up, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, empty it. So the hose just disconnects. Set that aside. Oh, disgusting. Here's the result after the first round of cleaning. The water did a good job trapping everything. Now we're gonna empty it out and keep going. We just emptied it out, and all that fake pet hair was kind of a mess, but uh, it wasn't too bad, but just filled it back up, and now uh, we're ready for more cleaning. And there you go, there's all the parsley, oats. Uh, I put down some more fake pet hair for the dusting. You can see how gross the water is again. So, and it seems to be trapping everything. Let's take a look at the separator above the dirt bin. After you're done cleaning with the rainbow, there's a few things you'll wanna do to keep the machine running great. Empty and clean out the water basin and leave it out to completely dry. Like all rainbows, the SRX has a removable separator above the dirt basin. You'll wanna check and clean the separator as well as around it after each use. Wipe around the big rubber gasket and the oval-shaped inlet as some debris will cling to them. The separator can be easily removed for cleaning as needed with a handy wrench that stores on the machine right by it. So there you have it. The SRX has a little controversy surrounding it due to the step backwards in suction power. What we found is despite that, the performance on carpeting was excellent and the machine had enough suction power for dusting, cleaning pet hair off of furniture, and cleaning hard floors. If I could, there's a few things about the SRX I would change. The bare floor brush works well, but is maybe a hair too wide for the suction level of the machine. If it were an inch or two narrower, I think it would work better. And obviously it would be great if the hose suction matched the older models. The power nozzle does an excellent job, just like the other rainbows. A great power head makes all the difference when deep cleaning carpeting, and despite my reservations with the design, it did a great job.
The SRX is an incredibly expensive vacuum cleaner, easily costing two to $3,000 new. At a more affordable price, this product would be easy to recommend, but right now the SRX, in my opinion, is prohibitively expensive. If you can get a great deal on one, and you understand the setup and care that rainbows require, you'll likely enjoy this machine. It's very versatile, and it's easier to set up and use than ever before. I always enjoy reading your comments. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.